Well, hey there, this is Alex of PNW Bible Journaling here on the Creative Retreat YouTube channel with the Upside Down Kingdom, the January Faith Art Box written by Rebecca Fairs. These here that I'm showing you are the Faith Filled Digitals. They are an add on to the kit itself, which you see also displayed. Um, all the links for everything I use in the video, which this time around is primarily the kit or the Faith Filled Digitals, are down below in the description. Um, I just want to emphasize this time around, I'm using the Faithful Digitals quite a bit. I love the journaling cards. I tend to like to have some of my journaling be private behind lift flaps. I love lift flaps. Um, I just am inclined to use these journaling cards that way. I've also made mini books out of them. I slide them into pockets. I do all kinds of things. I was inspired by our design team to do an upside down kingdom castle. My team member Jessica posted a video last week, um, Upside Down Kingdom Values, and she actually drew the castle onto the page of her interleaved Bible. If you haven't seen that, I'm going to link it down below. That's what inspired me to turn this journaling card upside down. Um, it also inspired me to put some of the words upside down. So here I am mounting the words Upside Down Kingdom that are kind of in a semicircle shape using some glue dots so that they will kind of be three-dimensional they'll pop off the page a little bit and I toyed with it going across the top under the bottom um, I really wanted it the kingdom word to stand out which is why I chose underneath to be upside down and then I am going to do the phrase from Matthew 2016 you might have seen at the beginning I kind of flip back and forth I already had an entry um, that I had done like Oh, almost a year ago or two years ago now, January 24th, 2019. That's why you date your entries um, from a book I had read, Clutter Free, that is on the other side where Matthew 2016 is. And since some of the writing kind of is coming through the page, the use of these journaling cards is also strategic. They're great for mounting right onto a page or using as a lift flap on pages where there's some bleed through. Um, so that was intentional. I also have kind of done this staggered lift flap before um, where they kind of build on each other and I had wanted to, I toyed with that idea. This arrow sticker I just placed is one of my favorite stickers in the whole kit, which is so funny because it almost doesn't completely fit in with the design aesthetics, but it's exactly what this sentiment is of the first will be last and the last will be first, that it's upside down and flipped on its head. So I wanted to feature that in the front and center and then I used a stamp from the stamp set using first, last, last, first, and then the alpha stickers to fill in the words. I toyed a lot with, did I want to use a cursive word from the printables? Did I, on the very, like the very first word first, and then the second word last, or the second time it's used? That's kind of a design choice. Ultimately, I wanted it all to fit on this sort of notebook paper feel um, journaling card. And I end up actually tucking this journaling card behind the first card so that you don't see the words to live by title. So you don't see it until you lift it, um, which wasn't something I foresaw happening. I did not know I was going to do that. Originally, it was going to be on the front. Here you see me switch it. And I was like, oh, this is good. Because then you focus on the fact that it says upside down kingdom. I'm going to put tabs on the sides to make them lift flaps that will lead you to lift them. Um, but the words to live by is hidden at first, um, and so then you reveal it here. Um, I started with two yellow tabs here. I just punched those off of the washi tape strip in the digital printables. Um, the nice thing is my tab punch fits right on that the, the dimensions of washi tape print paper that you get with the file. Um, you could also just do it off of the back of your devotional if you didn't get the faith-filled um, kits. And you could always just use scrapbook paper for to make these lift flaps. Here I'm using some washi tape I had on hand that really are is a perfect match for all the colors in the kit. You want to make sure to run your washi tape just shy of the top and bottom, otherwise they won't lift. So you see how they're short. They're not, they don't extend past the top and bottom of the flaps. And then I'm using the pattern paper that came in the digital kit to create kind of a swatch of color behind the lift flaps. Um, people call those tip-ins. Um, I did this because so much of the writing from the previous entry came through. You could scrape acrylic paint on this. You could do any number of things, use some scrap of paper. I love the coordinating um, paper that comes with it. 
Then I jump back to the art element sticker. And so when you lift the first flap, it says upside down kingdom and you lift it and it says, I am a kingdom citizen. And then I went back to verify what the scripture was, Matthew 2016 and how it was phrased. And I chose to write the first will be last, the last will be first. And I went back and forth on if I wanted, um, how I wanted that to go. I chose that wording just because it was a complete sentence. Then behind the flap, I used one of the label stickers and put the word Jesus on it because I wanted Jesus to be mounted on white to really stand out. And then I wrote live like Jesus. I chose the pink or the kind of red and green alphas because they coordinate with the kingdom citizen and the alpha I used at the top, but also because they coordinated with the alphas on the front of this card. You could do a collection if you wanted to do each word in a different color, you could totally play with this. I ended up changing the tab to be green. I wanted the yellow bow that I anticipate using at the top to stand out more. So that's why I changed that. I just remounted. Um, that green paper is actually from the back of the devotional. And then I used a sticker that came on the sticker pad, Words to Live By, which is the title of the video. I mounted it onto a tab that I had used on the previous page. It was a little lime green for my, for my taste for this entry, but lime green went with the last one and it was a double sided. So I used the sticker, Words to Live By, used a little washi tape and a heart sticker up at the top, and it really tied the yellow across the page. Um, and I love how that turned out. It also made a very sturdy tab at the top. And then I decided to go back and put Matthew 2016. I wrote it first and then I changed my mind and I used the alphas. I love that Danielle includes punctuation and numbers on your alpha set so that you can do this. And then my journaling, which I put on the back side where there were some stickers so you wouldn't see my handwriting. Lord, help me to live like Jesus, to look to him as my example, to you for approval and to Holy Spirit for help and guidance. Amen. And I underline it because it's my thoughts. And that concludes my entry. I will go back and add a date stamp because I love that I know that the, the entry on the back side of this page was from two years ago. These lift flaps read kingdom, upside down kingdom, words to live by, the first will be last, the last will be first, Matthew 2016. I am a kingdom citizen, live like Jesus. And then on the back of the flap, my prayer. I hope you see that just by grabbing a kit or just by grabbing the printables, you have so much material to work with. You need very little else. I included washi, so a pair of scissors and some adhesives. And that was all I used besides a black pen for this entry. Using the Upside Down Kingdom Faith Art Box and Faith Filled Digitals by Danielle and Rebecca Fairs this month. This is Alex of PNW Bible Journaling signing off. Don't forget to subscribe so you see the rest of the design team's work with this kit, as well as check out the links below. You can give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a thing. Happy Bible journaling!